This tutorial explains how to add new values at the bottom of a pandas data frame using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the pandas data frame that we can create with lines two to seven of the code. So first I'm importing the pandas library as you can see in line two of the code. And then in lines four to seven of the code, I'm creating some example data that we can use in the example later on. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right that a new pandas data frame is appearing and we can print this data frame to the bottom right by using line eight of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new pandas data frame, which contains seven rows and four columns, which are called x1, x2, x4 and x3. Now let's assume that we want to append a list object at the bottom of this pandas data frame as a new row. Then we first have to create such a list as you can see in line 10 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of our studio that a new list is appearing, which is called my values. And we can also print this list to the bottom right by running line 11 of the code. And then you can see that our list contains four letters w x y and c so if we want to append this list as a new row to our pandas data frame we can use the code that you can see in lines 13 and 14 of the code so first i'm duplicating our pandas data frame or in other words i'm creating a copy of our pandas data frame as you can see in line 13 of the code so if you run this line of code you can see at the top right that a new data frame is appearing which is called data new and I'm doing that because I want to keep an original version of our original pandas data frame. And then in the next step, I'm using the log attribute of our new pandas data frame. And I'm specifying that I want to add at the seventh index position, a new row and the values of this new row should correspond to the values in our list object, my values. So if you run line 14 of the code, you can see that our pandas data frame is updated by running line 15 of the code and then at the bottom right you can see that we have appended the list object my values at the bottom to our pandas data frame that's all i wanted to explain in this video in case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.